Well, this sort of rocked my boat a bit. On February 1st, 2019, Hitman 2 got an update, an update that removed everyone's favourite punching bag DRM de nouveau out of the game. Out of curiosity, I published a bunch of imager screenshots comparing the before and after results of the Mumbai benchmark when de nouveau was installed and after its removal. I should probably make something clear here for those that didn't read the imager notes on that post. Those tests were not scientific. They weren't run in a clean and sterile environment, and I'm not talking about cleaning fluid here. I had Discord running in the background in both tests on both Windows 10 and Mint 19.1, possibly Battle.net too. Hell, the only reason I have those screenshots beforehand was because I was testing the benchmark functionality out a bit in Discord chat. We were just comparing notes with friends, that's why I had them. So yes, while Hitman 2 post de nouveau removal is faster by a few FPS, and I will point this out here, it does load faster as well, like map loading, that is fast, genuinely. I would take the speed boost with a grain of salt. I'm pretty sure the uh, more rabid anti de nouveau fans will ignore this section entirely anyway, so have some cute bunnies for your uh, ignorance. Aw, they're cute. Uh, anyway. As you'll see in a moment, you'll question why the benchmark numbers are so... off. In those tests, I found out something very interesting. When running the game on Linux Mint via Proton, or Steamplay 2.0, people may know it as, the Mumbai benchmark I ran was faster on Linux by about 15 FPS. I ran it again, uh, just because I was so confused by it, and it lost 4 FPS compared to the first run, but it was still faster than Windows 10 by around 11 FPS. I posted this to the Hitman subreddit, which got shared to the Reset Era forums, and then subsequently got reposted onto r slash Linux game gaming and to r slash steamplay I believe and its associated discord servers I presume. Unfortunately that's where the coverage stopped. No other subreddit picked it up really. PC Gamer and VG247 was too busy covering people playing piano tunes on the Overwatch Paris map to care and I frankly kind of expected that. Not like they should report on the news or anything. <clears throat> Small rant aside, I was intrigued by my result and I decided to have a look into the performance of Hitman 2 being played on Linux via Proton compared to Windows 10 natively and properly this time around. No Discord in the background or anything else that could cause a slowdown. In case the title didn't tick you off, the Linux benchmarks were actually quite competitive. Before we start, however, I have to get the uh, obligatory system specifications and stuff out of the way. The following tests were done on an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X, I colloquially dub Heather, with 8GB of DDR4 HyperX Fury RAM overclocked to 2933 MHz. The GPU I used was a power color Red Dragon RX 470 with 4GB of VRAM. Hitman 2 was loaded onto a 1TB Toshiba P100 hard drive, while both Mint 19 and Windows 10 were on my SanDisk SSD plus SSD. Both Linux Mint and Windows 10 were as up to date as I could get them, so for Windows 10 it was the October update running AMD Radeon settings 19.1.2, and for Linux Mint 19 it was run on the 5.0 release candidate 4 kernel with the Mesa 19 Git graphic stacks obtained via the Pazoka PPA. I ran the game on both the Miami benchmark and the Mumbai benchmark on custom presets on very low, low, medium, high, ultra, and ultra 4K. There's a description of what I enabled and dis disabled on your screen now. I was very tempted to also do the unofficial Marrakesh stand in the middle of the crowd benchmark, just for sake of curiosity, but I was already quite tired of seeing a train smash into Vanya Shore about 36 times, so I left it at two locations for the sakes of my sanity. Okay, let's take a deeper look, shall we? Yes, these numbers are quite overwhelming, okay, but I do need to show you them because we'll be focusing on one particular row for these tests, the average at the bottom of each quality setting. This is a better indicator of your average playthrough and frame rate, and it also comes with the added benefit of me not getting repetitive strain injury over copying and pasting numbers repeatedly on Google Sheets. And here they are, all the numbers. Uh, okay, let me make this easier to read. Right, let's start with the mins or minimum frame rate the game achieved, and by that I mean what was the frame rate when the benchmark instantly started because that's pretty much how it's calculated. I'm not kidding. The minimum frame rate metric is stupid and unreliable in this benchmark, but for the sakes of transparency, I included it anyway as everyone else has done. Windows was faster on Miami but slower on Mumbai, except for this hilarious outlier on low settings Mumbai. I'm not sure why 30 fps is the average for minimums in this case but whatever 
as I've explained, this benchmark be weird. At max frame rate, Windows was faster than Linux on Miami by quite a long way, anywhere between 50 to 90 FPS, no matter the graphic settings. While conversely on Mumbai, Linux was faster than Windows, but only by about 10 or 15 FPS in comparison. That's still impressive, as by most logic, it shouldn't be faster, period. Given that in order for Linux to play it, it has to use Proton and, in my case, go through DXVK, which translates DX10 and DX11 rendering calls to Vulkan rendering calls. Hitman 2 uses DX11, hence DXVK. After the calls are translated, Vulkan just renders the game as it would normally, so you can play it. Normally, there's a performance penalty for this, but here there isn't. I had a look in one of the Discord servers where my post was shared, gaming on Linux in this case, and it turns out the developers of these components are normally hanging around on that Discord, specifically DXVK developer... um... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Of course, the mule had to be better than butchering Japanese. I, I think it's Japanese. They weighed in and pointed out that AMD's DX11 driver on Windows isn't all that good, and they're not surprised by the results. He goes on to point out that Hitman 2 is apparently CPU-bound, which makes sense, given all the NPC logic the game has to deal with and all that. So it's possible Linux is faster at processing that sort of information, at least on AMD systems. You're had to be pointed out this speed increase wouldn't have happened on Nvidia hardware as their drivers are pretty decent on both OS's, so sorry Nvidia Linux fans, you're missing out a little bit. Moving on to the average frame rate for both OS's has the two coming fairly close to each other in terms of performance. Linux was faster on Miami at very low by a single frame, but Windows was faster on Miami for all of the other graphic options by about 5 or 7 FPS. Mumbai had both OS's trading even more blows and in one case Windows was faster by a literal 30 30% of a single frame, 61.77 on Windows versus 61.42 on Linux. That's so tiny, it may as well be classed as a tie. The rest of the results were constantly less than 3 FPS apart from each other, with Linux taking the lead on this particular metric. And finally, the overall score, which is pretty much the average frame rate but with a few different calculations thrown in. Miami was faster on Windows except for very low, which was faster on Linux by just over a frame, whereas the reverse was mostly true for Linux when it came to visiting Mumbai again, and also with the exception of to Ultra 4K, which was around about 4 FPS slower compared to Windows, whereas the gap between Linux and Windows was about 2 to 4 FPS when in Miami, on Linux the gap was 4 to 7 FPS in between the two rival OS's in Mumbai. It's clear Windows hates Mumbai, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's the NPC logic thing I mentioned earlier? Your guess is as good as mine. Hey, I'd love for a developer to chime in. Sorry, Heather. So, what have we learned here? Well, Linux is quite competitive frame rate wise when it comes to running Hitman 2. Linux was almost never massively slower when running Hitman 2. You can argue that max frame rate was a lot higher on Windows, but that metric doesn't really matter all that much. I never get 300 FPS in any level, so this isn't indicative of actual gameplay experience. I noted it down as it's still worth looking at for the sake of comparison. Same with minimum frame rates. On average, Mumbai runs better on Linux in most circumstances and Miami runs better on Windows in most circumstances, but not by a huge FPS gap either side. It's also worth pointing out here that Jonas Meyer, a former programmer for IO Interactive, ran Hitman 2 on Ubuntu before leaving the studio in December of 2018, and was seriously impressed by the results of Proton. Proton has come a long way since its release in September of 2018, improving DXVK performance, adding in F-Audio so Hattie Time can do audio mixing properly, lib updates for the Steam client to allow for online play properly, including including Hitman 2 itself, and I've noticed an increase in newer games that use EAC, Easy Anti-Cheat, to work under Proton by what I seem to be default now, probably under the uh, recommendation of Valve. To all the people working behind the scenes, thank you for this. Keep at it everyone who's making the special source that is Proton. I don't say this to you very often Valve, I'm normally quite, uh, uh what's the word, um, demeaning to you. but. Good work. You're genuinely making people who like gaming on Linux, such as myself, all the more happier. And with that, I can't really say much more. I thank you very much for listening, though. Hope this was uh, interesting. So, what have we learned here? Well, Linux is quite competitive frame rate, frame, ugh. well, Linux is quite competitive frame rate, right? Frame rate, whoa, whoa. Well, Linux is quite competitive frame rate. Wow, I can't say that with a cold. 
Well, Linux is quite competitive frame rate frame rate wise. Wow, frame rate wise when it's com when comes. Ugh. 